Well, I think for everybody that's playing rugby in our era was that the ultimate was to make the All Blacks. You can't really put the, uh, it into words, the, uh, what you're feeling. I mean, it's just an amazing, all-embracing all to be realised that you're running out and going to represent New Zealand uh, at, their, at our number one sport. Very special occasion and you never lose it. We had the, uh, the motto in New Zealand at that stage was rug rugby, racing and beer and it was virtually in that order and what went hand in hand with rugby was the uh, uh, alcohol and the after match functions in very, very primitive uh, conditions and so it, wa it was a culture of you know, quick sw swigging down uh, refreshments after the game uh, with six o'clock closing. There was no late closing of uh, facilities at all. So it was, a, it was a culture which I don't think really has changed. Hiding it was not a problem because uh, rugby and all the social events that followed, uh, everybody was... Uh, in the same um, the situation, in the same environment. So nobody knew that I had uh, all started in 1960 with the um, consumption of alcohol and I was drinking for all the wrong reasons. You had to sell your prized all black jersey. How hard was that for you? Well, I remember taking my last all black jersey to the flea market here in Palmerston North. And my son, Angus, uh, virtually in tears, said, Dad, you can't do this. And I had to explain to him why we had decided that we had to get rid of the jerseys just to survive as a family. And the finance that we were able to raise kept the family together. And it was for those reasons and those reasons alone. So when Angus wanted to get something for the grandchildren so that they knew what their grandfather had done. Uh, he started the search and he located the jersey, the all black jersey of 1960 in Kilvenneth in Wales. Angus, it meant more to Angus uh, because it brought back that, uh, that day when he talked about, you can't do this dad, and he was in tears. And in Wales, he was again in tears when the jersey was handed back. Has helping others in later life, including as a prison chaplain, has that been more rewarding than being an All Black? A different sort of a rewarding. Helping other people is part of the recovery from any addiction. Um, first of all, you've got to admit that you've got a problem and then part of the recovery is that you go and help others. We had some amazing results in the work in the 16 years and it was very, very rewarding, but it, um, it was a different type of reward than playing for the All Blacks.